let's talk a little bit about woodshed beatings, shall we? Now, woodshed beatings in the sense of sports is when a team takes a team, another team, behind the woodshed and beats them with a stick. Hence, just rolling up the score and just beating the snot out of that team. And I don't mean like rivalry games where it's just a lot of heat amongst two equally matched teams or maybe just a little bit off. No, 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 no. I mean like a Division two or three team going against a powerhouse. And they know that they're going to be beat by 50 points. Now, sometimes there's going to be a miracle, a miracle finish where they will come out and win the game. It will happen. But statistically speaking... The odds are not in their favor. This is not the Hunger Games. But I always wondered what it would be like to be a fan of one of these teams. If you're a fan of Prairie View A&M, and you're going to be facing Texas A&M, and you know you're going to lose horribly, but your team's going to get a good payoff. What's it like being in the stands and you're losing 70 to nothing? Hmm? It can't be good. But it could always be worse. How much worse could it possibly be? Well, let's go back to Saturday, October 7th, 1916. A game that would match up Georgia Tech against the University of Cumberland. Now, Cumberland University had played Georgia Tech in baseball that, earlier that season and had defeated the Yellow Jackets, although they weren't quite known as the Yellow Jackets at the time. They were called the Engineers or the Yellow Jackets and several other names at the time. There was no set name. But they had beaten Georgia Tech 22 to nothing. Now, that kind of thing will happen. But there was a small, small problem. They were contractually obligated to play them in football as well. And uh, they had stopped playing football a year before. So there was no football team for Cumberland. And yet they still had to, or else they had to pay back all the money, plus interest. And John Heisman, the man named after, the man that the Heisman Trophy was named after, was the head coach of Georgia Tech, and he was the head coach of their baseball team as well. So he had a personal vendetta against Cumberland for beating them 22 to nothing. So what does Cumberland do? Well, they get a school man, they got a, a player, a team manager that who would be a student, and he got together a team, and in two weeks he got a team together, filled mostly with soror uh, from I would say sorority, but nonetheless frat boys together to play a football game against a powerhouse Georgia Tech team who had it out for them. So what happened? Well, they got taken to behind the woodshed, and in the most epic woodshed beating of all time, they were beaten 222 to nothing. The stats of this game go down as the most epic of all time. Georgia Tech, of course, at this time, passing wasn't a very big thing. They didn't throw the ball once. Mm -hmm. Uh... Cumberland did throw it 18 times, and they completed two passes for a total of about 17 yards. However, they did throw six interceptions. They also ran the ball oh, about 38 times and had negative 47 yards. Georgia Tech, on the other hand, did not throw the ball. They ran the ball 40 times for 960 yards. And of those 40 rushes, they scored 38 touchdowns. Which means that neither team had a first down in this game. That is incredible and unbelievable, but it is true. Two things did happen in this game. Georgia Tech missed an extra point, and Cumberland managed to block an extra point. They did it using the pyramid formation, which you will see another one of these football memoir videos on which is now illegal, by the way, in the NCAA. But the next time you go to root for your favorite team and you know that they're bad and you know they're going to get beat, just remember, at least you're not the 1916 Cumberland football team.
Did you like this video? If you did, feel free to click the like button, uh, and I may suggest go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Now, I'm going to go make that first down like I always do and move those chains, and I'll see you on the next Football Memoir.